G'day, I'm Ian Layton. I just want to have a quick talk to you about uh, the video you're about to watch. The technique that I'm about to use in this video is designed to get a remedial horse or a young horse or a sensitive horse uh, to understand how to go. It's not how one would ride a finished horse. There are lots of things in the riding that people might want to uh, assess based on what they've done or what they've been taught with horses. Probably the most common one would be that you squeeze to get a horse to go. Um, the idea of what I'm doing is, in, in the least offensive way possible, is to create energy and let the horse know that it's actually okay to go. You'll notice that uh, everything that I do here is um, preceded by a cue, a go cue. For me, I use a release of pressure, so I still squeeze for a go, but I don't expect a result until I release my legs. I make that the cue, so I squeeze it, says get ready, and then when I release, that means go. I find it helpful if the horse gets his energy from my energy, so if I sit up and I act like I'm wanting to do something in, a, in an energetic fashion, then the horse will pick up on that and, you know, it's very easy for your horse to get with you like that. And, you know, it's just a matter of practicing and, and being consistent. So I guess really what I wanted to say was it, it doesn't matter too much uh, how you would like to do things as a cue, but what does matter is that you are consistent and you proceed the energetic bit with what you want to, to end up with as an end result. So for me, an end result on one of my horses is probably just me changing my seat and my energy just a little bit. Some of the worst horses I've seen in, uh, you know, coming home or, or worked with uh, for behavioural problems have been horses that were proppy or... or um, weren't forward, didn't know how to go off a queue and weren't comfortable going and, you know, people were hanging onto them and squeezing with their legs and then whacking them or something and those horses had learnt that if they were to back or rear or, or run sideways or just prop, um, that, that, you know, they could get rid of that pressure that they were under, so... You know, the whole idea is to get loose on your horse and trust him a little bit and let him move. You know, get them used to that first and there's no point working up into the bridle until you can get your horse happy to move along. Anyway, if you, uh, you know, if you have a horse that has issues like that or it's a little bit doughy on its go or you find you're constantly at it, give this a shot and see if you can change your horse's opinion about going you know make it okay for your horse to go don't make him feel trapped and and you know put him in a position where he's going to get all stiff and sticky and and worried so you know get get him over that first and slowly work back towards what you want to do as an end result thank you for watching okay departures Upward transitions, important things. People squeeze and they squeeze and they rock and their horse won't move and then they start kicking it. Don't do that. Give it a little squeeze. That says, hey, get ready for something. I like mine to go on the release of the squeeze. Um, it's more like letting them go than making them go. So what I'm going to do is squeeze, release, bump, bump, bump. When you go, I'll let you go. Sit, I'll wait you soften. Cool. Wait you soften. Cool. Squeeze, release. Let him go there. Around here, good. I'll sit here. Squeeze, release. Yeah. You know, he wasn't sure then. And you could see him hesitating and thinking about it. But I didn't bump him because he was doing it. 
he gave me something. After a while, I want to be able to just sit up, just ease my pockets a little forward and have him go. I'll post around with him a little here. Want him going on a loose rein, relaxing. I want to slow down, just do what we did on the ground. I'm going to sit and relax. Now, if I've got a really rushy horse, I might bend him a little to slow him, but if he slows off me relaxing down, then so be it. Him around here. I'll bump him when he loses his energy a little. There's the king of the place yelling out because 